Hi again. Uh, this time our lesson is to uh, learn how to convert between the two forms for the quadratic function. Uh, you remember the parabola is uh, much easier to draw when we have this equation. Oftentimes question re uh, questions request us to give maybe this type of expression for our uh, parabola or our quadratic function. So how will we convert between the two? Well we've already seen that to go from this equation into the equation of ax squared plus bx plus c we saw that all we need to do is simplify. So let me do it without values in uh, just so that we can we can see what it looks like a little bit abstractly. So if I were to multiply out these two brackets then the answer I get is x squared plus 2px plus p sorry it's minus 2px plus p squared plus q and now if I multiply in the a I get ax squared minus 2apx plus ap squared plus q wonderful now why did I do that well I did it so that I can show you the way of how to get from this side back into that that way okay so why, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, let's just look at it like this. Using different colors, I think you'll see. Okay, if we have a x squared, and on the other side, we see we also have an a x squared. The a value here and the a value there is exactly the same value. If this is a 1, that one will be a 1. If this is a negative 3, that one will be a negative 3. The two a's will be exactly the same. The second thing, um, the second part is minus 2apx. And on the other side, I see my the coefficient of my x is plus b. Which means that the value b is equal to minus 2ap. And finally we have that plus AP squared plus Q on the other side we have is the C portion the part without an X and that part will be equal to C so here we have the two sides so to to conclude what I have is that a is equal to a in both sides and that makes sense why it is why we use an a then we have that negative or let's say b is equal to negative 2ap and finally that c is equal to ap squared plus q so this is what I'm going to use. If I w have ax squared plus bx plus c and I want a, I already have it. If I want p, let's just solve p in here. So we find that p is equal to minus b over 2a. I divided both sides with a negative 2a. And in the bottom one, to find Q, I just get Q on his own and I see Q is equal to C minus AP squared. Those are two formulas that I can use to find A, uh, sorry, to find P and Q. Now, you see Q is quite difficult to find, but it's not necessary to go remember that formula because before we learned that if I have if I found A and if I found P then to find Q I just substitute any point on the line okay 
and we are uh, bound to have a point because we already have the point C. C is the y-intercept. So C represents the point 0, comma C, the y-intercept. So let me do an example. Here we see a function, um, a quadratic function in the form ax squared plus bx plus c and they want us to write it in the form fx is equal to ax minus p squared plus q. So I see from this that, or I see from here that a is equal to a. So this a is equal to that a which is 3 then I have this equation that p is equal to negative b p is equal to negative b negative 6 over 2a 2 times a is 3 so I get negative 6 over 6 gives me negative 1 now we're not going to use that complicated formula to find the value for q um, because Q is the last of the parameters. We have A and we have P, so to find Q we substitute a point that is on the curve. So let's just substitute the values that we do have so far. We have that A is equal to 3. P is equal to negative 1. Now be careful, there's a negative P. So if we substitute a negative 1, it becomes positive. Negative times negative is positive 1 squared plus Q is now the unknown. So what point do we have that is on the curve? Well initially they only gave us the function formula and here we have the function formula but in this format ax squared plus bx plus c we know that when x is equal to 0 y will be equal to negative 1. So y will be equal to negative 1 when x is equal to 0 and that will give us the equation to find Q with. So we just solve negative one, uh, so 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3, so subtract the 3 on both sides and we get negative 4. So Q is equal to negative 4 and if we put all of this together now we find that Fx is equal to 3x plus 1 squared minus 4. And there we go. Now there's another way to get to this part of the, um, or this format, if I'm given ax squared plus bx plus c, and that is to s complete the square. I'm going to do this one quickly by completing the square just to demonstrate. Okay, now to complete this square, what we'll have to first of all do is take the first two terms and group them together. And from that, we take whatever is in front of the x squared and take it out as a common factor. Even if it's not a common factor, we are going to take it out as a factor. In this case, we're lucky. It does take out as a common factor, but we leave the negative 1 outside. Now on the inside, we're going to take that term in front or the coefficient of x and inside the bracket we're going to add that half of that coefficient in other words half of 2 is 1 we're going to add half of this coefficient 1 squared so whatever the half of that coefficient is we're going to square it and that's what we're going to add but I can't just add something in an expression. That would be unfair, me just adding what I want. I must go subtract it somewhere else or add it on the other side to keep the balance. In this case I added it and I'm going to subtract it here. So I added that and I need to subtract it. But I added it inside a bracket. And actually what that 3 means is that there are 3 of those brackets. So I didn't just add it once, I added it three times, so I must go and subtract it three times, or just subtract negative, th or subtract three. So now this uh, part inside the bracket will make, 
we can factorize it and it will factorize into x plus 1 x plus 1 so x plus 1 squared minus 4 and there you've seen it's quite a, a quicker method but sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult now that is the way to go from the one expression to the other and from the other expression to the one okay good luck try a few on your own and see if you can do it